I'm well, ready to back. eat. Are you ready to eat? I'm ready. <laughs> he's, he's returning. Star of the Food Network and many honors. We've got uh, Stephen back with us. Mr. Stephen Beatty, chef, and uh, you got to, ooh. The got the gloves oh, it's, it's serious. It's game time now. It, what, it, what are we going to prepare? <laughs> so I think what we're going to uh, start off by making is a, a quinoa salad. So what I did was is I took a quinoa and I blanched off. Quinoa is a great alternative, especially if you're vegan or vegetarian, this plant-based protein. Mm -hmm. And so what we're going to do is that we're, we're going to dress it up. So I took a simple uh, dressing. So I love to make all my own dressings in-house. People don't realize how easy it is, and especially when you're using Pop Secret seasoning. So actually what we did is three parts oil, um, one part acid, okay. and we just did the lemon pepper uh, seasoning. Everybody's like, yeah, of course, Stephen, it's easy for you <laughs> to make your own dressings. That's what you do for a living, but you make you break it down where it's so easy using those seasonings and... Yep. Can I ask you a question? I'm listening. <laughs> May I ask you a dumb question? Oh, you gosh. can ask me whatever you want. What did you call that and what Quinoa. is it? Quinoa. Quinoa. What is that? So it's, it's, it's a grain. It's a based protein. Yep, it's a grain. Yep. Grain. One All of my right. friends is allergic to rice, and they use quinoa as a, a good alternative. It tastes has that, that grainy it does. texture to it, but it yeah. really can be used for in many dishes because it kind of takes on the flavor of whatever you're putting and what'd in you it. what did you just put in there? So we did uh, bell peppers, we did shallots, we did kalamata olives, and we did some beefsteak tomatoes in okay. here. Right. And guess <clears> what? <throat> That's it. So you got a lot of great color in here already. Sounds good. It smells good. It's all seasonal, too. You go to the <clears throat> farmer's market and pick up some of these items, and you can really just go crazy with the with the recipes. Yep. This is easy too for people going back to school, parents looking to make something, you know, for the family. No, absolutely. Easy to do. So then what we're gonna do next is we got, we got some salmon fillets here, right? Mm -hmm. They go in, um, some oil. I like to use grapeseed, grapeseed oil. Okay. So, boom. That's supposed to be good for you. And is that just like a, a preference thing? Does it cook any different? So, so it, the thing about grapeseed oil or avocado oil is that you allows it to cook at a higher uh, smoking temp. So okay. once we put it in here, uh, you ever put butter in a pan and it yeah. instantly starts to smoke like that and burn? Yeah. That's because of the milk salads and everything like that has a very low smoking point to it. So grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil. Do you uh -huh. ever use Pam? <laughs> oh my God! Where you get this guy from? Y'all gotta get him know. out. Get him off the set. He's get gonna, him off the he's, set. He's gonna, ask, he's gonna ask any of the questions. I'm leaving you. Come back, Jack. <laughs> so check this out, guys. So yeah. one, one important thing is we preheated our pan. So I always tell people whenever you're cooking. Uh, if it doesn't make noise, so when you put it in, you got a problem. Okay, you All want right. that sizzle. You want that sizzle. Either that or still alive. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna get this going. Which uh, one of pop seasonings did you use for this? So that's the spicy barbecue. Um, the great thing about the spicy barbecue is that people think that it's spicy. It really is not that spicy, but um, it adds a great layer of crunch to it due to the fact that it has turbinado sugar in it. Awesome. What what advice would you give the people cooking salmon? I mean. It, so you always have salmon that if it's cooked well, it, it's fantastic, but it's very easy to kind of overcook it. Yeah. So I tell people to cook salmon like you would steak. Okay. okay. Yep. So, but, and people go, oh, wow. So you got to remember that uh, you can eat salmon raw. Um, obviously, you can eat it medium rare, you can eat medium, medium well. So I, it's all on preference, but also it's going to add some different textures and some uh, different characteristics to it. Okay, this is salmon so good, good for you. Oh, it's delicious. Isn't it? It's absolutely delicious. So what we did is that we just got the quinoa in the middle. These are uh, Kirby tomatoes. So You're I'm kidding. talking to you guys. You like a cucumber. <laughs> so we're going to flip that. Can you guys smell this? It over smells here? so oh, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Everything I, smells delicious. You know, if they just invent smell a vision, one, one day they'll have it. One day. Yep, so we're just going to give that a Not quick soon. flip. Right. <laughs> we're going to come back to this. So you literally, I just slice these cucumbers really, really, really thin. He's an, he's an artisan. Look at this. I know. It's, so, it's beautiful. So I like to work in odd numbers. All right. I got a nice little bundle of greens. Oh, with an odd <laughs> pair. That's nice. <laughs> bundle of greens over here. Yep. We're going to do a little bit of the uh, dressing yeah. right here. You know, it's almost too pretty to eat. It's supposed to be, so. I mean, I, really. Yeah, don't, well, I want you to eat it. I really do. <laughs> well, now, you like it, that's why I'm doing this. <laughs> why are you doing it? Plug, plug how we can find out more about you on your website again. Yeah. Yep, so www.stephencbeatty.com is the website. Um, anything, social media links are on there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I look forward to connecting. Please send me a DM. I'm gonna put a little bit of feta cheese on here. Mm -hmm. And he's a salmon. private chef. Not only does he work with celebrities and stars, but he will come to your house and create yeah. a culinary uh, adventure for you as well. Chef Stephen, we're running out of time, but I you understand. can go to Steph's. I'm there. I'm down to the wire like yeah. a cooking show. What are you putting in? What is that? <laughs> Balsamic caviar.
cameo. And uh, maybe at the end of the show, we'll have this plate over on the other set so you guys can get a good look at that, that finished dish. Chef Steven, thank you so much. Thank come you, back everyone. and see us. You, now you know Beautiful. where we are. You can come see us anytime. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to take a short little break. We'll put all of Chef Steven's information for you at our website, yourcarolina.tv.